after this, we'll still be under the rules of the governing bodies in the earth, even once we leave America. So this can't be talking about this earth right now. Let's talk about when Christ comes back, folks. I'm trying to show you this so that you can understand that us being saved out of it is actually taking those steps to have refuge. So when Christ do come back, we'll be gathered with them at that time. Okay, he's not gathering no one from America. It's not going to happen. Get Ezekiel the 20th chapter. Another scripture used to say that we're supposed to stay, that we should stay. And I'm putting this out there because these are the scriptures people are coming back with without understanding that it's two separate events. I cannot say that enough. It's two separate events, the destruction of Babylon and the second coming of Christ. They're two entirely separate events, biblically. And if you don't understand that, you're not going to understand these scriptures. Go to Ezekiel 20. You there? Read the 33rd verse. Ezekiel 20 and 33. As I live, saith the Lord God, surely with the mighty hand, and with the stretched out arm, and with the fervent poured out, I will rule over you. So while there's destruction going on, because Christ is coming back with fire, read. Verse 34. And I will bring you out from the people, and I will gather you out of the countries wherein ye have, you are scattered. With the mighty hand, and with the stretched out arm, and with fervent poured out. You see that? So while, the, while Christ is destroying, he's going to be gathering Israel from the four corners of the earth. Now, mind you, how can he gather us from Babylon when Babylon is destroyed during this time? It's impossible. So they use this and say, see, when Christ comes back, he's going to gather us. Well, this is talking about the coming of Christ, not the destruction of this country. Read. Verse 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness. Okay, and we'll already be there. So those that are in different parts of Africa, different parts of Asia, those that are, that, that are hiding in separate parts of Europe, these are the people that's going in, in the Middle East. That, those are the people that will be gathered into the wilderness with those who have escaped. Not the people that's from here. We must leave here. So we're not saying this is not going to happen. The error is they're teaching that America is included in this gathering right here, and it's not. That's the error. This is the second coming of Christ. Read. Verse 35. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people, and there will I plead with you face to face. Like as I pleaded with your father in the wilderness of the land of Egypt, so will I plead with you, says the Lord God. And I will cause you to pass under the rock. And I will bring you into the bond of the covenant. So we'll be under the bond of the covenant. There will be that new covenant written of in Hebrews 8 and 8. All right? There's a new covenant that's coming that Christ will give us. Okay? Read on. Verse 38. And I will purge you out from among the rubble, and them that trans transgress against me. And I will bring them forth out of the country where they should journey. And they shall not enter into the land of Israel. So though right there is going to be another purging. Yes, rebels going to be amongst us while we're in the wilderness. Okay. And those that don't follow the will of Christ will die before he actually give us rulership and power in Israel. Okay, that's talking about Christ right there. Read. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. So that, read on. As for you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, Go ye and serve every one his idol, and hereafter also. And I will, and if you will not hearken unto me. If you will not, what? If you will not hearken unto me. If you will not hearken unto the Most High. That means you're not listening to him. Read. But pollute ye not my holy name. No more with your gifts. But you do what? But pollute ye my holy name. No more with your gifts. No more with your gifts. And it says, pollute my holy name. That's the reason we, we, we continually push a higher, a shah, a higher. We're not going to pollute the Most High's name anymore by calling him Bailey, which is Yahweh, Yahweh, or Jehovah. We're not going to do it anymore. The Jewish people...